Hello, DP. I'm Kira. And I'm Jessica. Guess what day it is, Jessica? It's hump day. <laughs> and DP News starts now. Applications are now available in Mr. Woodard's office for the Health Challenge exam. The Health exam will take place on Wednesday, November 20th. Students who have turned in their application will be notified of the exact place and time of the exam. Deadlines for submission of the application is 3 p.m. Friday, November 8th. If you are going to apply, please remember that this test will be covering a semester's worth of health studies. That means it's really hard. 0% of students passed this test last year, so make sure you are fully prepared before taking it. Registration is now open for May 2013 IB exams. Exam forms are due no later than Friday, November 1st. There will be a $55 late fee after November 1st. Talk to your IB teachers about registering for the exams. Seniors, if you need help filling out your UC or CSU college applications or scholarship applications, you can get help in the library's Dell Lab on Monday, November 4th from 2 to 7 p.m. If you wish to attend, Bring your transcript with you, which you can get from your counselor. Some clubs happening today at lunch are Virtual Enterprise in B11, Good Food Club in M3, Environmental Adventure Club in S4, Debate Club in H10, and Ceramics Club in A3. Remember, the fourth annual DP Haunted House will be making a spooky return to our little theater for this Friday and this Friday only. If you missed last week's showing, this is your last chance to experience the fright. So be there at 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 with $5 for a ticket. All day today, there's a scary photo exhibit put on by Miss Kelman's photography class in H30. Go check it out and get spooked. Speaking of spooky shows, the fall show Spoon River Anthology will be opening next Friday night, November 8th at 7 p.m. and running that Saturday, November 9th at 7 p.m. The production will also run the following week, November 15th and 16th at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at the DPHS Theatre Company website or you can get tickets from anyone in the cast or crew. Be sure to purchase them fast because there is limited number of seating. Tomorrow is Halloween. Everyone has the chance to dress up as something you're not. There will be a costume contest in the Greek tomorrow at lunch. Be there and be sure to rock your creative outfits, but keep it appropriate. Well, that's all we have for you today, DP. Now over to Brittany with your sports news. How's it going everybody? Brittany Tisla here with your sports. Girls soccer tryouts are tomorrow and on Friday on the lower field from 3 to 5. Girls participating in a fall sport cannot try out until their fall sport is finished. See the soccer coach to make arrangements for your tryout once your season is complete. Also, there is an informational meeting for all boys who are interested in trying out for this year's basketball team. The meeting takes place at lunch day in B8. Yesterday, Katie Yang faced off Madison Hale from Santa Barbara in the semifinals of the Girls Tennis Channel League, unfortunately losing 6-2, 6-1. Today, six girls are heading to Santa Marcos to compete in the doubles portion of the Channel League. Good luck, girls. Yesterday, the boys' water polo team battled Brenna in our pool and won 7-2. Blake Parrish overpowered, overpowered Brenna with an astonishing eight goals and DP's 12-6 win improving their record 6-0 in league and 14-6 overall. Also, our Frost Soft boys won in overtime 6-3, and JV won 7-2. Awesome job, fellas. Girls Golf has their team CIF tournament tomorrow at Soli Park. So best of luck to our girls. Macy Brosomley, I'm talking to you. At the Mount Sac Invitational on Friday, the boys cross country ran their way up to the charts to the number one ranking in the CIF Division II. Great job, boys. I'm Brittany Tisdale, signing off. <laughs>